Hey everybody, so I just did a little research on electric vehicles versus gas powered vehicles, otherwise known as the internal combustion engine. A couple of examples, the Chevrolet Bolt can now get up to 235 miles on a, or 238 miles on a single charge. The Model S from Tesla can get upwards of 335 miles and I've been in a Tesla showroom and you can customize the car and pay more to get more range. Um, and according to UBS Bank, uh, the cost of owning an electric car versus a gas-powered car will reach parity by next year, so meaning it'll be on the same level playing field, which will give the electric vehicle business uh, uh, more of an advantage. Um, today, uh, electric vehicles make up 1% of global car sales, but UBS says that by 2025, they'll make up 14%. Um, batteries, cost per kilowatt hour for batteries uh, in 2010, it was $1,000, but today it's down to between $130 and $200 per kilowatt hour. So um, that's, that's why the parity of electric cars versus gas powers, it's, it's getting closer and closer to being even. And then there are countries that are going to be going, that have already announced they're going to be going zero emissions. Uh, one of them is Britain, and they're going to be, they've announced that they're going to be totally zero emission vehicles by 2050. Um, <clears throat> electric cars have many advantages over the internal combustion engine. One is uh, and I've seen it. if you go in a Tesla showroom, they'll have uh, the shell off the car and they'll show you it's so much simpler than the internal combustion engine. It's very simple. There's fewer parts, um, which means they need fewer people to assemble them. Uh, there's also going to be fewer subsidiary systems from specialist suppliers. Um, and the market for maintenance and spare parts is going to drop too. This could be a problem in the future, you know, some, you know, the employment force is going to have to adjust. Um, it's also more efficient to get power from central power stations, which electric vehicles do, than have all these different uh, individual combustion engines. Um, it's uh, more efficient and uh, carbon emissions will drop by 54%. Um, if all combustion engines were switched to electric, so uh, it's definitely a benefit. Two, -third, two thirds of the world's oil is consumed on the roads, plus there's more oil consumed in the refinery process to turn oil into gas. So as we go more electric vehicles, the electric vehicle route, it's really going to cut back on oil use. Um, peak demand, um, it's coming sooner than we realize. It's where the demand peaks and then it's going to start falling off. You know. Lithium, which is the um, main ingredient in electric batteries, in 2011 it cost $4,000, um, but today it's $14,000. I forget the unit of measurement that was or how much that could buy you, but um, Chile is one of the number one countries in the world that has lithium, so um, this should benefit their economy. Um, that's pretty much what I was going to go over. Oh, uh, one other thing that's interesting, um, it was pointed out in my research that um, there'll be lots, you know, <clears throat> we've got these ride-sharing uh, uh, companies, and then you have, you know, like Uber and Lyft, um, and then you also have, uh, like, car to go and um, some other zip car, so the ownership rates of cars is actually going to be dropping off, because why own a car and have to drive it when you can just get in it and then you can be concentrating on other stuff while you're commuting to work and we're also going to be seeing all the driverless cars 
uh, coming on in the future. So this is going to save people a lot of time, and time is more the most precious commodity because you could get in your vehicle and be commuting to work while you take a nap or get some work done. So it's going to save everyone a lot of time because when you're commuting in a car, driving around, it's a complete waste of time. You can't do anything because you have to watch the road. Um, so that's pretty much what I've got for now. So anyways, have a good day.